It's a bit of the coast looking east from Weymouth. A lovely resort on the south coast, on the Jurassic coast. The um, come around that way going west you're going along Chesil Beach to to Bridport, then uh, Morecambe Lake and Chidduck, Lyme Regis, Charmouth. Lovely, lovely coastline. Lovely landscapes. But I'm just going to just make some sort of. I, I've zoomed. I've zoomed. I zoomed in to that one. But I didn't want to paint that. I just wanted to try and try to do some sort of stormy, stormy sky sea. So just open it up. So it's, it's interesting. It doesn't matter. It's just a bit of coast. Right now, I've made a start on it. I've had to start the game because. I forgot to zoom up as usual, so I'm just working on this just, uh, to see how, how we go. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm using a bit of extra uh, cerulean, some light red under there. This is a bit of texture paste, well it's, it's a gel medium. I wouldn't buy it now, you can bulk up your paints with all sorts of stuff. But it's quite expensive this, these um, acrylic mediums. But I've got it, I, I forgot I had it. So I um, just want to paint some sort of stormy stormy sky. That's that's what I'm doing at the moment. So a bit of dark coming over over these cliffs. No, um, Plenty of red going in on this. Want some nice dark sky, stormy. Good colour is a burnt umber mixed with with ultramarine. A bit of light in here, just as do it too dark. Well, we do really, but but the darker you make it, the lighter you your lights will look by contrast. A bit of good horizon there, dark horizon. Some more cerulean. Uh, there it is. Gonna use a lot of that, I think. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just wind the tube up. It's years old. Bit like me, really. Now the Rugby World Cup has started in the UK this weekend and f for those of you that, um, uh, many of you who live in America, I'm going to Brighton tomorrow with a friend, he's got a couple of freebies. I don't know who's playing who but I know, I know one of the teams is America and America have got a good rugby team. So we're going, I'm going to leave London tomorrow and just drive down early in the morning, so we go by train to Brighton from Bexhill and be lovely to say we've been to a World Cup match because tickets for the, the, the this event is uh, are, are very very scarce so uh, let's go back and put a bit of bit of colour on, the, on the, the top of We, we, I'm going to put some, some sand colour, like uh, raw sienna. 
put his shadow in here. So I'm just making this up as I go along really. So it's a nice light grey, so red, that's uh, red, cerulean, that's light red. And we'll just put this in. Show some modelling in these cliffs. in the light. Oh, I'm on green there. Okay. Okay, now I'll do my shading again. You know, so I just work away until something pleases me, then I'll try and leave it at that. Because we're just creating an impression of ins and outs, hollows, mostly cerulean, right? and then we can go over this. Let's go in with some nice lighter colour for greens Clean the bush. Now we'll put in a bit of light in the sky now, I think. Well, lighter clouds. Need some more light red. The light red mixes very well with the yellows and those oranges, but very light. Ooh, I can't open the lid. Okay.
Okay, now we can go around that with some bit of, bit of modelling. Blue and red, that's the, uh, the um, Suriname. Too much red. Don't like that colour, that red there. It's too much red. That's the light red. Funny if they call it light red, but nothing nice about it, is there? something just poking through there. Let's right, just clean the palette and get some more white out. It's a terrible state at the moment. Paintings go like that. They start off well then go downhill for quite some time and you just work at them until they come back. It's good that you know that. So don't get disheartened until it really goes wrong. Then you can, then you can tear it up and you'll have a tantrum. Right, let's just get some of that colour over, over the over the landscape. Got that with the cerulean, a bit of ultramarine in there as well. Oh, uh, just get that. There's just a touch of alizarin with that blue, just to darken it. That's the cerulean. I don't like the shape of these cliffs here, so let's just pop them out a little bit. Right, 
but now it's some dark greeny stormy I'm mad now. This is a case of trying to make art rather than slavishly copy anything. I'm still, I'm still just using it as a, as a guide, but, but what I'm doing is, is, is totally, is totally different to what is actually in front of me. Let's just get that down there. A bit of lighter blue. Otherwise, I got just a little bit monotonous. What's the colour? Now we'll put some dark, darker greys in. Into here. I'm mixing a lot of colours on my brush. Very strong colour, Cerulean. It's can make some nice, nice greens. Don't use it in watercolour though. Can do. It's good on the horizon to give that greeny tinge. It's a greeny blue.
repeating myself there a bit. I don't want pure white, that's what I want some colour. And I want some more, probably dark back there. A bit, of, bit, of, bit of light cloud now. Right, let's have a let's have a go on this. Uh, Now ultramarine and sienna, raw sienna, make quite a good uh, sea green. A lot of shadows and lots of colour. Show some transparency. I'm not going to make any attempt at doing portraits of anything.
think it'd be a good sea place. You've got to live at the coast and study it. I, being a land lover. Oops. I'm listening to the radio as well. It's talking. Put a colour in the tip in my school spin drift. This is great fun, isn't it? I know it's a load of old, you know what, but it's a bit of I've shown near the beach this side. Paint on now. I want to get some dark on shadow in, in here because I want to counter change those that spin drift. A bit of alizarin crimson with, with that cerulean. Just darken it a little bit. A good shadow colour.
some light back in these, a bit of transparency. Mm. It needs something, doesn't it? Uh, Well, I'm going to leave that. I'm not sure whether I can do much more to that. It was good fun to do. Uh, I'll take a photograph. I'll, I'll probably do a bit more work on the sky. But this might be one that I modify again and put it up in as another demo. Oh, you just you just work away and something happens. It's a very very impressionist piece of work. I, I put it in a mount. We we'll just have a look. It's, it's a bit of a caprice, I think we'll can call it, because it doesn't exist other than you've seen me make it up. Really, just based on a loosely based on a, a Weymouth Bay scene. Uh, more like a, a morning if I did some more little little strokes. So let's have a let's have a look at that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I think that is quite a good bit of fun there. Really, I've just repeated here what I've done there a bit, but uh, but never mind. I'll I'll upload it and. We just had a bit of fun for a Saturday morning before the rugby. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.